Hi Virgo, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome in. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need, personal readings, links, all kind of social media links. Everything you need to know is down in the description box. So please do go check that out. Decks I'm using, a lot of information there. Okay, so before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It really means a lot to me in your support, in your um, donations really, really mean a lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so Virgo, second half of August general reading let's see what we have for you i will read this as general but i always say if you can fit it into a love situation or something like that please feel free to do that only take what resonates general reading general collective reading may or may not be for everyone so um i'll get started here so august last half of august already one more month of summer Okay, so this is a Zodiac uh, deck, so we'll see what we get here. If you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. This is a little extra bonus. So let's see, what may some Virgos have around them, energy around them, or affecting them, may get a sign, element, or planet for the last half of August, here, please. One card, we had two there. We had uh, water energy and Pisces, so... That may mean something to somebody. Let's see what we have. Now we have Aries. So some could have an Aries around them in some way, shape, or form. Friend, family member, co-worker, or could be a partner. You know, however that affects you. You could have Aries in your chart. Know somebody who has uh, Aries heavily in their chart. Aries in the tarot, the major arcana of Aries is the emperor, so this could be speaking of a boss or something like that. Co-worker, supervisor, manager, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. All right, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, what is your energy? Virgo, it's too many, I just want one. What is the energy like for Virgo? There we go, second half of August. Detoxification, okay. So there's a need here for some sort of detoxification. It doesn't necessarily mean substances. It can mean eating healthier, drinking more water. As you see this, uh, I guess it's a fairy is in water. So maybe you need to drink more water. If you are uh, taking in a lot of substances, maybe it's a good idea to try to limit your intake, detoxify of that. It could even be people around you that are not for your highest interest that are really uh, toxic around you. Could also mean that. It can be anything, person, place, thing, um, activity that's just not good for you, like maybe watching too much TV or playing too many video games. It could be gambling. I mean, it could be anything that is toxic and there's a need here to detoxify from something. We'll see, bottom of the deck, body movement. Okay, so maybe some of you really need to uh, start improving your health here. Get out, start exercising and uh, moving your body, you know, dance, you know, go take some classes, get outside and walk, um, dance, anything, something you enjoy that, you know, you'll want to do every single day. You know, if you don't like going to the gym, then if you like going for a walk and you don't have to jog, you can walk, you can dance, you can do anything. All right, so I'm gonna jump rope. I don't know where that came from, but if you like to jump rope, you know, go join some kids in the street. I don't even think they do that anymore, but uh, <laughs> jump rope or something. All right, so let's see what's going on for. That could be just um, that could be just a message for certain people. Let's see what's under this. Magic of nature. So yeah, maybe you know, get outside and stop walking outside. Um, and uh, try to improve your health here. Okay. 
So let's see. What's going on with Aries? You know, and that could be just, you know, with Aries, the Emperor energy, just take, taking charge of your life, taking back control of your life, you know, getting healthier. All right, so what's going on with Aries? Aries, I'm sorry, Virgo. Virgo, second half of August. What's going on with Virgo? Second half of August, spirit, please. What kind of energy are they in? Let's clarify. It's second half of August for Virgo. Virgo. Okay, I'm just going to take that one. Let's see what we have here. The Hermit. Okay, well, Virgo. There's your energy, Virgo. Are you being a recluse, a hermit? Are you sitting on the couch and not doing anything? And just being lazy. Hmm? So, yep, hermit energy. So it's time to come out of the hermit mode. If, you know, and uh, stop being active again. See, what are the energies? It's pretty self-explanatory there. <laughs> you know, the hermit goes within, doesn't like to go out, um, and just spends t a lot of time alone indoors or whatever. And... Uh, I mean, it, uh, it doesn't mean you're constantly watching TV all day long. Maybe you just don't like to leave the house, or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. What else? The chariot. Well, cancer. Five of cups. So maybe if you're depressed, if you've been through something here, you know, see all the cups here. So maybe if you have been maybe drinking a little too much due to depression or something like that, uh, water energy here and cancer energy here. So... This is the chariot, so taking movement, taking action. I, wow, I mean, this is just clarifying these two cards, sort of in a way. Detoxify, if you've been cooped up in your house, maybe indulging a little too much, now is the time to take action. If you've been depressed or sad or lonely or whatever here, you know, it's time to get moving. It's time to, you know, start detoxifying, get out, move your body, get out of the house. Wow. Just really kind of clarifying what I just said there. So, I mean, you may not be drinking. You may not just be sad. And I know that's kind of personal and harsh to say. But I'm just telling you. I'm an honest reader. And I'm just telling you what I see in the cards here. So, um, like I said, if it's not drinking or whatever. Because you see all the cups spilled out here. Um, you could just be depressed, sad, lonely. But this is telling you it's time to take action. And to come out of that... Uh, negative energy and that's also part of detoxifying coming out of negative energy and start moving your body body start getting out in nature nature is magical it's probably going to help to heal you you know you may run into people and make new friends all right so let's see what your actual situation why are you in this so six of swords that's good the tower okay and the lovers well I mean, you could have went through a big breakup here. Um, it could be anything. I mean, we have the Six of Swords, which is air energy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The water over here is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries here with the Tower. And then we have the Lovers, which is Gemini. So, you know, I see you going into a more healing, balancing place here, leaving what's not serving you behind. So I feel there's... A need to do that or you're wanting to do that because some sort of tower moment happened here I mean you could have had a breakup the lovers here could have been a significant other it could have been a job that you totally loved it could have been I don't know where this is coming from you could have been evicted from your home and it was a place that you was like your dream home you truly loved you could have lost a job it could have been a relationship breakup I mean it could have been anything here that you were so in love with whatever it was for you, and there was just a big breakup, breakdown, explosion, I don't know, eviction, I don't know where that's coming from here. But, you know, you're wanting to get past it here, and you're wanting to go in a better place, to go, going into a more healing, balanced place here with the Six of Swords, and this is taking the action right connected to the chariot about taking that positive action movement forward. You know, the chariot takes action forward, a lot of ambition, drive, uh, balance very successful energetic kind of energy and this is also going and moving in a more healed balanced um, 
harmonious place. Even though you've had this big tower moment, I mean, like I said, it could be anything, but the lovers here, I mean, it could have been a breakup, could have lost a job that you totally loved, a home that you totally loved here, whatever your situation is. But things can get better if you take that action. All right, so let's see what your advice is, Virgo. The Six of Pentacles, again, six, six, healing balance. Six is a very, and your number is even six, Virgo, here. So six is a very healing, balancing number to me anyway. So we have the Six of Pentacles and the Hangman. So now we have uh, Cancer Pisces here. We have Earth Energy here. We're at Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, so, I mean, this is taking a pause, taking a break, hanging back. Uh, going with the flow, really thinking about things, seeing things maybe in a new perspective, being enlightened. Um, so, you know, maybe coming to terms here and realizing, you know, you know, I've been kind of in this hermit mode for so long now, I really need to find my inner balance, my strength, my healing energy. So your advice is to really think about what you can do to really heal and balance yourself out. Only you knew, know what's best for you. Really thinking here. Taking action in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's just, you know, getting out and starting to exercise. Going and getting out in nature. Or something like that. Socializing in some way. Something here ne needs balance. And you really need to think about what you need to do here moving forward. Alright, so let's see what your possible outcome is. So we have justice. So, um... Libra energy. So, I mean, if you're dealing with something uh, in the justice system, it could be that. Or this is you just getting your justice. This is balance. This is major now. So you're majorly balancing out your scales. Uh, you're seeing truth and clarity. Getting the justice you deserve in some way, shape, or form. So things going in you could be going in your favor here. So, I mean, you could be worried about losing something in the justice system, losing uh, if you're, I don't know, going to court or something like that. You may feel like it may not go in your favor. Um, but, I mean, I think things will be very balanced, whatever the outcome here. And you will be able to move on in a very uh, peaceful way. I mean, it could be anything. It could be something in the justice system. It could be divorce. It could be just a case of some kind. It could be you've lost something and now you're wondering, how do I move forward from this? But I see you really think about it, go within, and really dig deep and say, what can I do to move on, move forward in a positive way? You will get your justice here. You will know what you need to do. All right, so let's get more clarification here. So we have the Seven of Wands. So this is, you know, standing up for yourself, fire energy here. Maybe there's the Aries around you helping you in some way, you know, to fight for what is yours, uh, to stand up for yourself, um, and that sort of thing. Seven of Pentacles. So again, with the Sevens, Sevens are divinely guided number. It's a spiritual number. So even with the Hermit here, with the light, maybe, you know, you're listening to your intuition, your gut, and that sort of thing, if you believe in that. And maybe it's helping you in this journey. But here's the Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, I feel like you've put in some work here, but you're just kind of waiting. You're waiting on things, seeing how they're going to go. Um, will the fruit here ripen into my favor, whatever your situation is here? So there's a time of patiently waiting and maybe why you're in the hermit mode. Four of swords, again, with the healing, resting, recuperating, retreating. Again, hermit, retreat. Um, taking time for yourself, thinking, contemplating while you're waiting. And like I said, you may have an Aries around you helping you, guiding you, maybe even defending you um, in some way. All right, let's see what else here. The Five of Swords. So, you know, the Five of Swords is an energy of kind of just... Eating, either you're needing just to... Maybe you just needed to get out of this situation and you don't didn't really care how you did it. Maybe that's what the Tower is. 
maybe you just didn't care how you got out of it, whatever it was for you. You just didn't care what you did, what you had to do, what you had to say, who you had to cut out of your life, whatever it was for you. Um, I feel like you just needed to get out of something and you kind of withdrew and you really didn't care about anything else around you. All right, so let's see. Eight of Cups, yeah. Like, like I said, you wanted to get away. Eight of Cups is walking away from something not serving you. So something here wasn't serving you, I feel, also. And you just needed to walk away, get out of it. You didn't care how you do it, how you did it. But now you're, you sort of became a recluse now. And there's a need to get out of this negative energy and start living life again. You know, and if you're worried about something, as you're in this hermit mode, I do see things getting more balanced for you. All right, let's see. See what's on the bottom of the deck. Well, the wheel of the year, wheel of fortune, Sagittarius energy. So I had just said here with the justice, things going in your favor. So here is the wheel to clarify that things go in your favor, better luck and timing, um, divine timing here. We have these sevens here. So definitely here, um, everything going in your favor it may take some time. This is, you know, the wheel of fortune, wheel of time, divine timing, fate and destiny, but things will get better. Things will turn in the right direction. Things will go in your favor. You will go in a more healing, balanced energy. Knight of Cups. So here is, you know, I think it's the news coming in you're waiting for. I don't know whatever happened here. This could be a couple stories, storylines for a few people. I don't know, or unless it all connects for one person or whoever's watching this. But here is, you know, somebody coming in with the news, the message, whatever you're waiting on here. Here it is coming in for you. The Knight of Cups, water energy. And I think it'll be very healing, balanced, peaceful, um, serene kind of energy. So Seven of Cups, you know, confusion. You know, you have confusion here. I do feel during this hermit time when you're waiting um, about this news, you know, feeling very confused and wondering how is it going to go, which direction is it going to go in here, um, looking at all the options, directions, maybe even daydreaming, very confused kind of daydreamy energy. Page of Wands now. So here's the messenger coming in with the message and here's the actual message. I mean, there could be children involved in some way, shape, or form in this also. But here is the good news coming in. Um, exciting news. Um, I don't want to say passionate news. It could be passionate in the way they deliver it, like very exciting kind of news, like very someone very exciting knowing you know, you're getting your justice and delivering this message in a loving, compassionate way. And again, temperance, Sag. So balance, healing, balance. You know, you need to wait, though, and be patient. But though, while you're waiting and being patient, don't get too caught up in being in this total hermit mode. You still need to get out and live life, I feel. And if you've turned to substances, it's time to try, try to, you know, let go of that a little bit um, and just trust and get back into life again and start moving your body again in some way because things will balance. You see the end of the rainbow here. So patience, balance, healing here. Five of Wands, conflict. And we have the tower right here. So this could have been some kind of conflict, fight, competition, whatever it was for you that happened during this process. So... Yeah, I do feel things will balance out for you. Things will go in the right direction. If you're waiting on news on something with the court system or um, if you've lost something or something was disrupted and now you've kind of retreated and went to this hermit mode and now you're kind of depressed and maybe, maybe drinking a little or doing or maybe not, whatever here, I do feel like you can overcome this and get more uh, healing and balance into your life. And things will go in the right direction for you. A couple different things there. So you take it how it resonates. If it's all connected, that's great. Um, but we'll see. All right, so let's get some guidance and advice for you, Virgo. Second half of 
and <laughs> I cut the deck to patience, which is sort of like the temperance cards. So, all right. So let's see, what guidance, advice do we have for Virgo? Second half of August, second half, wow. Well, I, I can't say it any clearer than that. Overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Exactly, and this kind of almost looks like, you know, a tower moment, but overcoming it with peace and harmony and balance. As with, um, The Six of Swords, leaving the past behind. That's not serving you. Moving forward in a more positive direction. Exactly. Overcoming difficulties. Wow. Okay, so let's see. It's on the bottom of the deck. So career transition. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So exactly. So maybe, you know, maybe you did lose a job or something like that and you're in the middle of this career transition, but you're a little depressed and you're worried you know, will I find another job or, you know, whatever here, you will get your justice. You will, you will go in a more healed, balanced place here. All right. Put that there. I'm just curious if there's any other messages for you, Virgo. Any other messages for Virgo? Any other messages for Virgo? Gonna shuffle a few times, see if we have. There we go. I had a feeling there was something else. Angel therapy, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. And I had felt that maybe I had said over here with the light, with the hermit, maybe you're listening to your, listening to your gut, your intuition. Maybe you're praying, um, asking your guides, your angels, what do I do? Please show me signs. Maybe that's why you need to get out in nature. Also with body movement, you know, if you ask for a certain sign, sometimes they show you. So say you ask for a blue butterfly and then you're out walking and you have a blue butterfly fly by you. I've had that happen to me lots of times. So, so again on the bottom of the deck, passion, Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So, you know, just have faith and trust. Everything will be fine. I think you'll find a very uh, new new beginning here and um, you'll be very passionate after overcoming these difficulties and I do see things going in your favor whatever it is for you but I think while you're transitioning it's time to come out of this hermit mode and time to um, get back out and live life you know Virgo if this didn't resonate for you you could check the description box below uh, past readings may resonate for you. I do consider them timeless, even though they have a date on them. And best of luck you, to you here in this situation. And if you do like my energy and the way I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please don't miss out on that. And uh, as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.